Wanting to visit a border town? I can give you a few tips. We have gone to border towns in both Texas and Arizona. Usually there is a parking lot right near the border where you can park your car and walk across. And that is what we do. In Progreso, Texas, the parking lot is huge and it only costs $4. And there is a great bridge to walk across to get you over into Mexico. Before you cross over, there are public restrooms available. You will pay a dollar to cross this international bridge at this point in time. And then after paying you will walk across the bridge and across the Rio Grande. While we were crossing, there was a gentleman walking with us and he had said that he heard that they had put alligators in there as one of the ways to stop people from swimming across. You will want to watch this full video because not only will I show you the shopping experience, but some of the scenes of the rundown buildings and some of the people waiting to get into the United States. So it's sort of a three-parter. You'll want to hang on to see all three parts. Let's proceed. In the middle of the river is this sign, the boundary of the United States of America and Estados Unidos Mexicanos. It's a great photo point for sure. And then after you pass into the Mexican side, you will see this brightly painted gold eagle with a snake. When we visited there several years ago, it didn't look like this. They've really revamped it and it looks great. Usually on the Mexican side, you will not need to show a passport or anything. Sometimes you will have to go through airport type security screening, but on this day, we did not. And then this is Progresso. Locals and Texans and winter Texans flood the streets, at least for about the first six to eight blocks. You can find all kinds of trinkets and jewelry and food. You can get your boots shined or your shoes shined. This is also a very common sight in border towns. One of the many reasons that people travel across the border is to get dental work done. We have gotten dental work done in Nogales, across from Nogales, Arizona, and we're very pleased. And we know several other people that have done the same. There are so many pharmacies and dentists just over the border, you won't believe it. This guy has little baskets and baby pinatas. There are many shops that you can go in and we went into one really beautiful little shop but there are also many street vendors and this street vendor had this pink Prada purse I really wanted this purse and usually they will bargain with you and so I asked him I said how much he said $45 I said I'll give you 25 he said no so I left a lot of times when you do this they'll chase you down and go okay and come up with another number but he didn't chase me down I really wanted this Prada purse if you haven't watched my little video on Prada you'll want to go do that I'll tell you what happened when I went back later after lunch to try to get this Prada purse, but you'll have to watch the full video to find out. Again, the streets are lined with clothing, leather goods, sandals, belts, dresses and t-shirts, sunglasses, and we found these hombres strumming their guitars and playing the accordion. And this is Gloria's Beauty Barbershop. There are a lot of places in this category that are also down there as far as cosmetic work to be done. Let's just put it that way. There's chiropractors and masseuse. And it's really funny because they're standing outside their businesses trying to lure you to get in. And I don't want to be rude, but I don't want to, I don't want to go in and I don't want what they're trying to sell. I just say, thank you. No, thank you. They probably think I'm crazy by saying no, thank you, but I just can't get myself to be rude. Need to make a phone call? Speaking of that, we always turn our phone onto airplane mode. Be careful. You might get a really big bill. Check with your carrier when crossing. We noticed that the street signs were redone since we had been there back in 2020. They look beautiful and we also see that there's advertising from this particular dentist. Did I mention there are so many dentists there? I think I did. More dentist. Life is better when you smile. I totally agree. Don't forget to hang on so you can see the two other things that I don't want you to miss, but you're gonna have to hang on. This guy, he found a great way to carry the sombreros he's selling. I wonder if the bottom one is his. And how about these festive Easter baskets? And this street sign has another dentist advertising. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. It's a bustling place for sure. I recommend that you stay on the main streets. Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? I need you to subscribe. Thank you. Cowboy boots? Many people go over there just to buy the beautiful cowboy boots. They generally have really good prices. Here in Progresso, we found that most of the items' prices are in dollars. That really helps. Now, for the next part, a little bit of architecture. Some good and some gone bad. Most of these were taken a little bit further down from the border. Don't forget to hang on to the end to find out if I got that purse or not. And here is an elementary school. And this is an abandoned building. People walk, ride bicycles, drive. The street vendors are absolutely everywhere. I kind of like this old building, don't you? And this place had 
dollar bills stapled to the structural post. And now this is the third part that I wanted you to see. As we were returning to the American side, you will have to pay 60 cents. It used to be 50 cents, but now it's 60 cents to go through the turnstile, to go through the customs and border inspection station. We have many friends that work for the Border Patrol Agency, and we asked them, who are these people that are camping out on the walkway on the bridge on the Mexican side? They haven't gone through American customs. They are remaining on the Mexican side, and they're all in these tents, just lined up one after the other. And a friend of ours whose daughter who is an immigration inspector, told us that most of these are waiting because they have appointments to see if they can cross. We heard them speaking many different languages. It was just crazy. All they had was what they had with these tents. But I did notice that most of them did have a cell phone. And they're just hanging their blankets out to dry. And all they have is this food and some backpacks. And here we go back to the boundary of the United States of America. It is best to have a passport to return entry into the U.S. It's at this point that you don't go any farther unless you do have proper paperwork. Back to the parking lot, and then I thought you might enjoy seeing this picture of this fence with the razor wire and the standard border fence line with cameras. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. Hope you've enjoyed the little tour of a Mexican border town. Okay, so after we ate, we went back. I really wanted that pink Prada purse. So there were different guys there, and I said, how much are the purse? And they said 65 this time. It was 45 with the other guy. And I went, no, 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 no. I'll give you 35. He goes, no, no, no. The guy who I talked to earlier, he comes out of the pharmacy that's right there. And he says, oh, you know. And I said, yeah. I said, you told me the purse was 45. I said, will you take 35? He said, no. I went, oh, okay. Bye. I didn't get the purse. I really lament not getting that purse. I really think that's a cute purse. Don't you think that's a cute purse? Thank you.